What is going on guys and today we have yet another episode of The Road to Gloria. It is episode 9 now, the series is doing very well, you guys seem to be loving it. This is another episode that I recorded quite a while ago, about a month ago, so it will be like this for this episode and possibly the next episode. But episode 11 is definitely starting from where we are at the moment in FIFA, so I can't wait for that. If you also haven't checked out earlier's upload, this is the second upload of today, make sure to go check out. It is another episode of The Transfer Room, it is episode 8. Um, and there is some massive transfer news in that, transfer rumours and confirmed deals in that series. If you haven't checked out that series, it is a very, very good series. Um, well, hopefully it's a very, very good series and hopefully you guys do enjoy it, so make sure to go check that out. But into today's episode, we did start off by selling our whole Serie A squad. We didn't really want any of these players anymore. It was the time where the Serie A Cup had just finished and we wanted to build a wee good squad, of course, because both of the team seasons were released at the same time. We wanted to do the Serie A Cup, which lasted for half of that week, and then the League 1 Cup was the second half. So we wanted to build a League 1 squad and take part in the League 1 Cup. So as you can see, just selling everybody, players that weren't really worth it, we ended up just quick selling. But the majority of the players, we could get some coins out of, and we are going to make about 15k probably from the lot of them. You're going to see in a minute how much we did, in fact, make in the end. As you can see, just selling them, even if they're only worth 400 coins, it's still more than quick selling them for 300 and like 8 coins or 306 coins. So... As long as we can get the most money out of the players, uh, I'll be happy with that, definitely. We tried to search here, as you can see, he, the cheapest he goes is 700, we bought him for 700, we're either going to sell him or we're going to have to quick sell him. And we already made 13,465 coins, just from selling three players. Um, and of course we did have coins before, we did sell the players, we also sold a lot of these bronze players, or sold a lot of these bronze players that were just sitting there that we, um, when we did the bronze pack method earlier in the series. But yeah, we still had a lot to sell. We're looking to maybe even get to close to 20k already in episode 9, which would be absolutely crazy, guys, if we could get that amount of money in just episode 9. But we wanted to build the squad. We wanted to completely, uh, completely rebrand the squad, and we called it a League 1 squad. Com just made a new squad. We didn't want to continue with the Serie A. We didn't even want to just change the name. We wanted to make it fresh and build a new squad. And as you can see, we did... Um, start the thing that you can do where you can just put all the league and squad uh, players that you do have in your club into the squad and we did that but we only had three so it didn't make a massive difference um, but well, obviously we're not going to use those three players where we're going to go out and buy quality quality players we had the coins to do it now we could just buy as many players um, or the majority of the players as we wanted to in the league and it's not that expensive the only expensive one is really Ibrahimovic um, and Di Maria maybe and that's probably the only two normal cards that are very very expensive but as you can see we had a lot of good players in there trap brave weight um i think we had uh in Kalu in there as well bedemo all these quality quality players and as you can see we just went out and bought them all only 1200 there for in Kalu. bedemo was only something like 750 coins which is absolutely incredible um considering he is one of the best left backs in the league alessandrini who i love in this game only 850 coins very very cheap for these these quality quality players that i really like to use in the game and I was very surprised by that I mean like the league in isn't the most popular of leagues but it's also not a bad league is it so it was it's it's good for us obviously in the series to get these players for very cheap but it's also bad that we can't sell them on for more um because all the players like Cavani's only like a K and he's 85 rated you get players like Pastore, Verratti only a thousand coins 84 rated it's one of the only leagues probably at the moment that does that um then again, I suppose prices are very low towards the end of FIFA, and this is when this period is, so we can't really expect there to be a lot of expensive players. But it means we can also afford them very early on in the series, it just means that we can't sell them for a lot of coins either. But as you can see guys, we did get the majority of the rest of the players sold, only Adair was the only gold player left who didn't sell. All we needed to do was buy um, Bueve or Buevo, however you say his name, at that position but we actually decided that we're going to change the formation up put it to 4-3-3 and we needed a new cam and we just knew we knew just the man that is going to be of course Valbuena Matthew Valbuena one of my favorite cams in this game and you will see later in the episode guys why he is one of the fa my favorite cams in the game I love him he's so incredibly good uh, and I cannot wait to use him as you can see we did also buy the Bevo um, the uh, Bevo from the um, Liga BBB anyway so it wouldn't have counted because, of course, um, he isn't in, in the league in, in that card. But we did go into a game worth the squad completed. We had loads of quality players in it, loads of 80-plus rated players. 
And yeah, it was a pretty decent squad he came up against. He had Tony Cruz, Conor Priyanka, Benzema, Figuli, Tiran at centre mid. Um, he might be abusing the chemistry glitch on that, but I don't know if the chemistry glitch was actually around when I did record this video. But as you can see, as I was saying in Valbuena, what a start. Him getting the first goal for us. Quality, quality goal it was. As you can see, losing it here, unfortunately, for Valbuena. But as you can see, picking it up by Pistori. Great turn, losing it again. But he gets a third chance at the cherry and gets that one into the top corner of the net. 2-0 now, inside 19 minutes. And so far, Valbuena was just on a mad one. He was just absolutely incredible, guys. Another stunning strike from him there. Getting him his hat-trick inside 36 minutes very very good start and there was just no stopping this guy as you can see we did get a fourth goal with him here just slotting that one home easy easy finish inside um 41 or 42 minutes and that was just too much for the guy he did in fact rage quit it took about 30 seconds to rage quit after he paused it but he did finally rage quit and we did of course get the win which i was very very pleased about so we get the first three points in that division First win, nine games, uh, nine games to go. We just need to get past this Division 9, and then we can start going on a mad run, of course. I know you might be thinking we're in Episode 9, how are you only in Division 9? If you have been watching up to this episode, you would have seen um, that we've been playing the majority of the games in the Cup, so we haven't really been playing Divisions, and that's the reason we're only in Division 9. I'm also not that satisfied with the record at the moment. 17-1-6, in my opinion, isn't a great record um, for being this high up in the Divisions, like being in Division 9, you should be winning every game, and so far we have kind of won every game in the divisions, but the cup has kind of let us down on the record um, kind of thing, in the record terms of it. So we needed to buy quite a few players to um, create this league and squad, so we could go into the league and tournament at the moment, or just playing in divisions, because we didn't have a full league and squad. We just bought random, random players, but before we went into it, we did go into another game in um, Division 9, try and get some more points on the board. And as you can see, he had a very, very nice Serie A squad. He had like Rudiger, Cáceres, Biabiani. He also had Iguain up there. So very, very good players and very, very cheap players as well. They work very well in this game this year. As you can see, picking up Pidjanic, great ball through to nine goal and a stunning, stunning finish. Um, those kind of finishes are quite hard to do and it was really, really nice from the player. And then we did get one back here. Really, 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 really scruffy goal. I <laughs> don't really know how that went in. It was a strike from Braithwaite, was it? Um, just a kind of toe poke off the post, hit off the keeper's back and went in. But then we did get a second goal here with Alessandrini to make it 2-1 and kind of put us more in... Uh, puts in the pole position for maybe going on to win this game. That was until he picked up here with nine going, running into the box. Great turn inside, and as you can see, nine going is going to dis just dis destroy. Just I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Destroy um, my defence and finish that one off. As you can see, we could, we did pick up with brave weight here, getting into the box, whipping that one across. Really nice sweat to be fair. Um, and he got his second assist of the game, which was very very nice from him. Val Buena was it getting that goal? He was incredible. Fifth goal in two games. It's just absolutely insane. We then picked up with Sanson, who did bring in us bring on as a sub, and he got mm -hmm. a goal for himself as well. We can do that with Sanson because. Um, we're going to keep him, we can't sell him or anything like that. We may as well bring him on subs when, um, in like different squads. So if we have a league in squad, we can bring on Sansone as a sub. We may as well use up his contracts. We can't sell him, so we might as well use him. He has a very quality card, probably the best card we've got at the moment. Um, so yeah, we might as well use him. As you can see, we did get loads of cards though. We did pick them all up um, from just bidding on them. We needed them in the in the reserves and subs just so we could enter this league in tournament. Because of course, you do need a full league in squad that includes the subs. Um and reserves as well I believe or just the subs so we did that we also swapped a few out just to get some more chemistry and stuff like that but I was like nah 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 this is not how I want to finish this episode we need to be, we need to get some big signings in first of all we got Kanat Biak um, who actually already had and didn't notice so by mistake bought him and resold him but we needed some big signings we went out and bought Edison Cavani which is a huge signing 85 rated in the squad We've not really seen any really high rated players that we've bought so far, so that was incredible. We then went out and bought Marquinhos, who's only 850 coins, which is just insane considering he's one of the best centre backs on the game. We then went out and bought Pistori, who we actually thought we didn't have. Turns out we did have him, so we had him as a duplicate, tried to sell on his um, CDM card. We did buy him in CDM for 850 coins, which means he could maybe um, sell for a bit more than, than we actually did buy him for. So we tried to sell him on for um, 900 coins for 12 hours and see if he did in fact sell. We then got Verratti in the squad, some quality quality players, bought him in a cam position by mistake as well, um, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, we're bomb. 
we only got 850 coins, we can't really be complaining. <coughs> we then got Lucas in the squad. He he is a quality, quality player, guys, this year. He is very, very good to play with, and I'm really glad we got him in the squad. We then get Van Der Veel to go in with it. It's kind of a whole PSG squad at the moment. We're getting everybody from the PSG team. Kurzawa as well joining the party, and we're only down to 2,300 coins. But at the end of the day, we might as well spend them. Um, at this point, they were very, very cheap. And yeah, I was really, I was kind of wanting to build a good squad so we could win this league in tournament. You'll see next episode, guys, what happens to do with the league in tournament. There's a kind of a shock in it, and you will find that out in the next episode. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, make sure to smash the like button. If you can hit 15 likes, guys, that'll be absolutely insane. Subscribe, guys, as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.